Hey everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day today. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what my grandmother and my friend's grandmother taught me about work-life balance. So hi, I'm Jackie Schwab. I am the founder of www.jackieschwab.com and the Press Play Lifestyle signature, signature System as well as a professional success coach. So the other day, I was talking with some of the moms in my Success with Balance for Career Driven Moms group coaching program, and she was talking about some advice her grandmother gave her. And it was, it was an interesting lesson that I thought would be fun to kind of share in terms of how you could relate it to work-life balance. And so she said her mom, her grandmother used to tell her, if you give a person too much too soon, they fall in love with your hand and not with your heart. And I think that goes true with, with work and with life as well. If you are always, always, always giving to your, your work, they fall in love with your productivity, um, guilty as charged. And a lot of the paces I'd worked before, um, I gave and gave and gave really fast and as much as possible to make sure I proved my worth right away when I started. And what I found was then, of course, they would always expect at least that much that became the baseline uh, but I was like doing my absolute, absolute best. And so what ends up happening is they fall in love with the the doings, right? The um, And they never really get to know you as a person or consider the fact that you're a person and you have other things going on. Um, now, my grandmother, um, not quite as much work-life balance related to that, but she used to always tell me, um, so why would they buy the cow if they could just get the milk free? Now, of course, she was talking about, you know, whether you kiss and tell on the first date or not. But it's, it's again, kind of the same type of thing. Like if you're in business and you're always, always, always giving away your free services and you're giving, 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 why would they buy your services from you, right? Because they've already received everything that you can possibly give they've fallen in love with the giver, right? But they've not fallen in love with, they've fallen in love with a gift, but they haven't fallen in love with the giver. And so I think it's really something to consider when you're interacting with your family, right? If you give, give and give to your kids and you always are doing their laundry for them, but you never teach them how to do it. Um, they fall in love with the gift, not with the giver. And they get really ticked off later when they try to figure out how to do laundry. They have no idea how to do it. So if, if that was anything I could share from my grandmother passed about a year ago, no, a little more than a year ago. And she was just one of those older ladies, old German lady who worked in a factory. And she, she just was just such a straight shooter. But there's a lot of wisdom in some of those old sayings that people give. And so grandma, my, I married my husband 20 years ago and we're still together. So I guess the whole don't buy the cow thing is probably true. Well, if you found any um, helpfulness in this, please like it if you got value from it or share it with a friend. Or if you think it's funny, you know, you can always send that too. Feel free to join our Success with Balance for Career Driven Moms Facebook group so you can connect with other moms just like you who are driven in their career but still love their little peoples. This is Jackie Schwab reminding you to embrace your pause, play the game that you want to win, and prosper with a life by design, not by default. Bye, guys. Have a great day.